Hello and welcome to my final video podcast, Teaching and Learning Music My Philosophy. Music is a powerful tool and escape for so many people. It is what motivates us, inspires us, and in some cases helps us escape our current reality. Over the course of this semester, we've covered a variety of topics from a wide range of musical educators, and I've learned a lot about what it means to engage with others in a musical teaching and learning environment. So having experienced what typical high school and middle school classes usually consist of, I believe classrooms need to incorporate new teaching techniques and curriculum. Um, Because our music system is currently centered around the elements of music, which creates a highly structured and very constricted learning environment for students, um, which is what I found. And there's really no incorporation of varying cultures or styles of music because the frameworks that we use are based on European traditions of art and music. So I believe more students would be motivated to partake in music class if they were being taught styles of music they listen and regularly interact with. Um, Freedom is another important element in music education. Um, Musical growth can only happen through creative exploration and experimentation. So when students are constantly forced to follow a regimented schedule and learn specific elements or songs that were chosen for them, they aren't learning to become independent music professionals who can make their own rational decisions. A music school I attended called Beyond the Beat allowed for individual creativity and the music teachers encouraged students to pick their own pieces as well as left distance between themselves and their students um, just to allow for that independent student creative process to take place. The music teacher and student relationship was based on friendship and camaraderie and not one that relied upon enforcing dominance and power. Um, As you can see, Tariq was my music vocal teacher at the time, and he was always just a very fun and vibrant personality. An article from class that really inspired me this year was one by Joseph Abramo addressing disability in the music classroom. I was provided with new knowledge on the subject of disabilities and how educators can impact their students. Um, In a lot of cases, disabilities don't disable people, but rather empower them to be even more able. As long as teachers learn to make modifications and provide additional support, these students can thrive in all learning environments. So I came across this video when I was browsing through YouTube one day um, a while back, and it really enforces this idea of impairments not being a form of restriction, but rather a driving force for creativity. Okay, Mandy, so I think I've worked this out. So you're deaf? Yes, I I lost all my hearing when I was 18 years old. Wow, and how old are you now? Uh, 29, so it's 10 years. Wow. I left music after I lost my hearing and then uh, figured out how to get back into singing with muscle memory, using visual tuners and trusting my pitch. clip of this video on YouTube. I've linked it at the end of this presentation, but as showcased in this video, it is clear that this woman's impairment did not restrict her musical ability and she was still able to pursue her passion. So if people with impairments know that this is an option, it can inspire them and authorize them to recognize their goals as attainable. I really appreciated when Leonard J. Davis's book emphasized the difference between an impairment and a disability because he introduced the idea of an impairment being a physical fact and an impairment only becomes a disability when society creates environments with barriers. For example, music classrooms are usually made to satisfy um, an individual with no physical impairments. So this can create a extremely disabling environment for students. Um, so it's very important that we incorporate modified instruments in the music classroom that satisfy the needs of all individuals participating so that goals can be attainable for everyone in the classroom. In conclusion, these aspects of teaching are the ones that really stuck out to me over the course of the semester. In a musical learning environment decided by me, the classroom would be a free, diverse, and highly accessible place for students to express themselves. Thank you.